Well, hello. So today's menu is I'm cooking what I know, which is Somali food. For appetizers, we have United Beans of America, which is kind of a singular dish to eat with Muslims. We call it, call it uh, the peacemaking beans. We usually serve it in our dinners, and everybody loves it. It's the first thing that goes. Uh, the main dish is um, Somali side lamb stew. And the dessert is a special cake that kind of melts in your mouth, and it's from uh, Cafe Turco. So with, we're serving it with black Somali tea. So I'm gonna get ready to cook so we can get eating. It's good. You don't have to be a great cook to. Did you boil the lamb before? Hindu, Amharic, and Swahili. So I'm making a Somali taco right now. Thank you so much for joining us again. My name is Fatih Absiya. We're about to start our conversation and we are delighted that you're here with us today. And my name is Elise Aiden and today we have Michaela Corning who is a local Seattle fashion designer and entrepreneur focusing on modest wear. And we also have Istihar Bailey. She is uh, also from Seattle and works for the Washington State Legislature. So thank you for coming, guys. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so we're diving into our conversation. This is, of course, our first episode. Um, and we're just fresh off the midterms. And uh, I am so glad that we are here together because there's a lot of exciting um, things to talk about. And the first thing I wanna, um, uh, that I want us to discuss is that uh, the midterms were historic. Um, I feel like every group had something. I mean, so many firsts, so much history has been made. Um, so many women, unseated yeah. men, you know. And, women uh, of color. Uh, exactly, people of color. I mean, this, is, this has been the most diverse group of um, elected officials since, well, I guess ever. What, uh, and even us Muslims. I mean, we are represented by yeah. two sisters for the first time yeah. in the history of this country. And I just want to know, how does that make you guys feel? Well, she's the politician, <laughs> so maybe she should talk first on this. I mean, I think it's really great. I think it's very important to have representation, especially when it comes to decision making and lawmaking. I think it's absolutely necessary. Um, you know, something that comes to mind for me is that you know, we're a nation of ideals, not tribe and tradition. And I think that should be reflected in who we elect to office, that diversity. So, yeah. <laughs> well said. <laughs> well said. I, I just get, I get really excited because, I mean, I've been a registered voter for a really long time. <clears throat> and this is the first time where I can look and see so many women of color and, um, like is it Ilhan? I don't want to say Ilhan it. Omar exactly. from yeah. Minnesota and yeah. Rashida Talib from Michigan. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean Arab American and a Somali, Somali American and those. For me, um, even though I'm you know European or white American, it's just really nice to see you know women that I can feel like I can look up to as a Muslim and see like wow that these sisters are like paving the way. I mean think about your kids, think about your girls. Like they're gonna look at folks in poli in, in politics and say like I don't. That person doesn't represent me, exactly. right? But yeah. they, these these women do, and I just think that's super exciting for girls and to help them build their confidence and that they can have dreams and that anything is really possible as long as they put hard work behind it, you know? Absolutely. I remember when uh, several, several years back, when with all the, the height of the rhetoric, my daughter, who is now 13 years old, uh, said to me, Mom, I, you know, I am everything that this society despises. I am woman. I am black and I am Muslim. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I said, no, I, I don't think you should think about it that way. I mean, you, you, you uh, after all, you live in the greatest nation in the world. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I don't feel that right now. Yeah. But um, I mean, I've, I, I've never given up. I mean, I'm, right. I, I'm an idealist and I <laughs> felt like, you know, this is just the hiccup, uh, you know, we will come back and we will be all right. Um, what about you, Elise? 
I think it's really exciting. I hope that also seeing younger women in DC will ignite some change. Mm -hmm. um, but it takes time because I also know that it's a system and I don't want them to get caught up in it, mm -hmm. but actually try to continue their fight, especially the sister from New York um, who, who unseated uh, Ocasio, Ocasio. Ocasio. Yeah. Ocasio. Yeah. 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 yeah, she is amazing. I love her. <laughs> she and I'm like, keep going, girl. Don't let it phase you because they might not necessarily agree with your liberal politics, mm -hmm. but to actually fight for your community. And her even talking about Amazon choosing Queens mm -hmm. recently. <laughs> That was interesting enough too because she's like, I'm trying to still represent my community, so I'm I'm gonna also be on Twitter just like our president is. But, <laughs> um, but you know, having your voice and not losing it because you're surrounded by people who've been there for decades and always use seniority as a way to you know assert their power. Um, I so I I'm very hopeful though. I know that it's gonna definitely change a lot of uh, people's minds, especially with children seeing. Uh, a lot of these women come forth. Native American, two Native yeah, Americans. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yep. I can't believe that though. I'm like, how is that even possible? Yeah. I mean, this is, mm -hmm. this is their land. Yeah. How could that be? You right. know. But um, and I feel like we should be making bigger deal than anybody else. The fact that for the first time in the history, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think two so. women. Two women. Yeah, or women. American period. Women. That are Native American. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then there's also the sad part where, you know, you have the Florida governor race and the Georgia governor race mm -hmm. where, but I don't it's know, so it's, it was so close, yeah. it's so close. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's such a messed up system. You have the guy who is in charge of the elections for the state of Georgia, Georgia. running. I mean, so much conflict. That's a little bit conflict of interest. Yeah, I don't it's think, huge. I think I mean, if she huge. was a white man, that would have never happened. He would have said, you know what, I recuse myself. Like, that's happened before. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but I think mm -hmm. people let things slide when it is people of color, and especially women of color. It's like, well, nobody's really gonna say anything and right. we'll just continue this. Mm -hmm. And so even even through all that, she did amazing. She and did. I know she's gonna bring up her lawsuit yeah. and, and fight against that, but. Well, and, and also, I mean, she's been sounding the horn for so long, saying, you know, yeah. the, there's so much um, photo fraud, you know, in terms of dumping the photo registration and things like that. Not photo fraud, people voting, but mm -hmm. the, the actual votes not being counted. Mm -hmm. um, so she's been talking about this for, for three or four months already, and it still happened, the, yeah. the, you know, so it's, it's kind of sad. But I also want to talk about, you know, the Democrats are now uh, the, taking the, you know, have taken the House and are going to be the majority in the House. And um, Nancy Pelosi, mm -hmm. Sister Nancy's bag, you know, <laughs> she wants to be the speaker. And I feel like there are a lot of people, especially uh, the newly elected uh, uh, group of um, uh, uh, congressmen and women have made promises not to vote for her. And I feel like a lot of people are attacking her, making fun of her age, making fun of the fact that she's been around for too long. Um, I'm all for change, mm -hmm. you know, but I feel like if she was a man, this would not be happening. Oh, I agree 100%. You know? Ageism is an issue with with male, men and women, but it affects women more. Exactly. In, in every field, in corporate America, which I just came from, in politics, um, you know, I mean, if you even think about, you know, uh, Clinton, a lot of the things that people said against her, I don't think they would have said them if she wasn't a woman. Um, that's just the system of racism and... and sexism and ageism and everything that we live in it's really unfortunate um i don't know it's hard to be hopeful sometimes <laughs> to be totally honest you know i mean some people will make cracks at you know um certain politicians like older men or whatever but the vast majority of them are like so old and yeah. they've just been there so long but then like this one woman nancy Pel i mean come on yeah. like she's the one percent right yeah like, very few women of her age and who've, who've been in the game that long you know it's right. like Wow. Okay. What about experience and all these other things? Yeah, I, but I think Democrats are just confusing change and progression with just you know outing one of their own, throwing one of their own under the bus. Like they want change and progression so bad that mm -hmm. you know they're willing to take some drastic steps to do so, and that necessarily shouldn't be the case. So, yeah. what do you think, Elise? 
I honestly, I'm over all of it. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you know, it, Thanksgiving right, right, right. I mean, like, it's like great, you know. Nancy Pelosi, you put in time, you put in work. You've been fighting for a long time, but yeah, I'm tired of seeing the same face over and over again. It was the same feeling with Clinton running and George Bush. Uh, George W. Bush running like this should not be a dynasty after some time you should yeah. be able to just let it go and have a fresh face because yeah, it holds blood. people accountable yeah. more yeah, like I, I want to yeah be representative um, even here the city councilman I, I can't remember his name but he's not going to be running again because he's wanting to do one term and he's like all I wanted to do was one term because mm -hmm. I think it's important for fresh new blood to come in mm -hmm. and anything that I didn't do they can probably see and mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. put more work into it but also i'm not in a place where i'm running just to run and have a job i'm mm -hmm. in a place where i actually want to run because i want to change things want to change, i want to yeah. affect change yeah. and then so after a while if your name is mm -hmm. kind of get getting lost and it's bad mouth like maybe back out a little yeah. bit and and mm -hmm. see what who else can come that has experience i know marcia fudge representative marcia fudge was talking about her putting her name in. I don't know about her either. I mean, the SNL skit they did was <laughs> that ridiculous. Was really bad. Did you guys oh, see, that? see that? No. It's so, it was so I bad. <laughs> and they were talking, terrible. they were attacking her age. Yeah. And I just mm -hmm. thought that was unnecessary. Like, mm -hmm. we don't need to go that low in order to make a point. Mm -hmm. um, but for I mean, me, everybody's gonna get old. At everybody's some gonna get old. I mean, that's so dead. ridiculous. Yeah. Unless you dead, right? Get old die. That's so <laughs> eternity. Yeah, I mean. It's so, <laughs> so to me, I I would like that, but I wouldn't necessarily bad mouth her to get that. And I think mm -hmm. that's the point you're making too. Mm -hmm. Is that why do we have to, you know? I, I just, away I just feel easy. like uh, because uh, sh her and Hillary Clinton, Pelosi and, and, and Clinton have been the punching bags for the Republicans for so long yeah. that a lot of uh, Democrats are like, well, would she, you know, we don't want to have nothing to do with that. Right. And I, 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 I like change. Change is great, but yeah. I feel like does that have to be like now? I mean, you're mm -hmm. just finally, um, I mean, there, there's just... A better way, I think, uh, of handling this than cat fight. Yeah, and, and sometimes and, you have to see you know, who has the best experience exactly, or the best yeah. resume for the job, and right. you know, it's not always the new shiny person. Yeah, sometimes it's the person who's been there a long time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you know, they know the tricks and has created relationships where they exactly. Get the job. Yeah, exactly. Well, and the reality is, I mean, and I think as Muslims we know this, like we are taught to respect our elders, right? Yes. And so I think that there's an, a level where, with age should come wisdom. Yeah. So if our people are elected and they are older and they have wisdom and they do understand the times, of the, you know, then that's great. If they don't have wisdom, they lack wisdom, they lack integrity, they don't understand the younger generations, they don't understand how Facebook makes money, um, yeah. stuff like that, then they gotta go. Like they're, you know, you're, exactly. you are expired, okay? Yeah. Um, but I don't think age in and of itself is a problem. And I think someone like Nancy Pelosi shows that, frankly. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. All right. We will be right back um, after these messages. We are going to be talking about MAGA when we return. How does it feel to be working in this field? Well, it's kind of an exciting time. Exciting and disappointing at the same time.